What's up guys, it's your boy Fastlane D, and today it's exhaust day, babe. It's time to get rid of this massive can off the side of the bike, and more importantly, this god awful catalytic converter. I know this thing weighs a ton, and on a motorcycle like this, that's gonna make a huge freaking difference. Now the camera never picks up how loud these bikes actually are. So we ordered a decibel reader off of Amazon so you guys can truly understand the difference that this exhaust is gonna make in the total riding experience. Make life a ride, baby. So at idle, it looks like we're getting around like 81, 82. We get real close here. We're getting in the 90s. I'm gonna come back about a foot. So it looks like right around like 81, 82 range. We're about a foot away from the exhaust is what it idles at, which is 100% too quiet for your boy. So we got 92 at 6,000 RPMs. I'm out here getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. Well, that was easy. Definitely keeping this as like a souvenir or something. It's got a nice little carbon piece on the top. It's not bad, but this weighs a ton. Looks so much cleaner being able to see the swing arm. I want to get a carbon cover for this though, because I know it'll just blend with the bike very, very well. Man, this is so light, like crazy light. So we got the headers off finally. It's a little tied up in here. This really isn't that heavy compared to the other catalytic converters that were on the H2 and the R1M. So uh, good job, Acra. But yeah, you can see this is titanium from the bluing on there, which is pretty sick that you get this stock. We got the two headers side by side. Thankfully, this comes already pre-assembled. Look how dirty my hands are. But yeah, it already comes pre-assembled. Obviously, cat is gonna be eliminated. We gotta move these O2 sensors over. There's already a million videos out there weighing and showing the weight difference between these, so I'm not gonna bore you guys with doing that as well. You shave about 15 pounds. Woo, here we go. Headers are all mounted up. Just gotta put the slip on on. You thought I was gonna reveal it yet. Nope, not yet. We'll put some WD-40 on it, see how that looks and turns out. Without further ado, let's hear it. First startup. It's early Sunday morning, but uh, I can't wait. Pulled it on matter installing this, and I just can't wait to hear it, so sorry. Was crispier. What? What? Yo! What the heck? Bike feels so much lighter. Man, those 15 pounds worth the oh my gosh. That is such a huge freaking difference. Let's go! Let's go! Woo! Let's go, baby! Let's go! Let's go! That's what I'm talking about. Talk to him, Mona. Yeah, Tanner Pose. 
<laughs> That's crazy. Also, wheelie control is wild on this bike. Like, I'm giving it more throttle, but it just... It lets it get to a certain height and then that's it. It won't let it get any higher. There it goes. The tech on this bike is nuts. Yo! Mona is alive, baby! She's alive! <laughs> what a game changer. getting there Dang, it feels a lot higher than it actually is. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. wild it's like a wheelie i guess yeah the back wheels off the like, oh, oh. how far up am i this is too high <laughs> no, i thought that was way higher damn <laughs> that's funny you, posted that bitch, you did good that was solid hell yeah that's probably one of the better ones i've done it up no higher, I don't think. I think right there is good. Yeah. I will say, I feel like there's a lot more vibration in the handlebars. <laughs> oh, man. Talk that talk, Mona. Talk that talk, girl. There goes Tanner. See? Yeah, it doesn't even want to come up. Hold on. Let me turn down this traction control. brakes on this thing are so good i don't even want to know what this thing is gonna feel like once we get it burnt tuned and we're going stage two which requires a little bit more work but i know it'll be worth it if i went stage one i know i'd regret it after a little bit and be like man i should have just went <laughs> heck yeah Yeah, this thing is loud, boy. <laughs> Already know he's about to do it. There he goes. Look at that. Tanner getting nice with the wheelies, boy. He getting nice with the wheelies. <laughs> Hell yeah, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get a little snap, crackle, pop to her. Talk to him, Mona. Talk to him, girl. Woo! That was nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. a bike oh my gosh yes i've been waiting on this i'm not gonna lie to you guys at first i really was kind of like uh what's all the hype about the bmws are about <laughs> between the break-in and the stock exhaust and the dead spot i was like yo this this ain't it man all right let me stop sneaking you guys and show y'all <laughs> so we officially went with the sc project full titanium you can kind of see down there, she's starting to blue a little bit. We put the WD-40 on there. I'm excited to see how this turns out. I've never done that on a bike before, but this thing is loud. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up how loud it is. Golly, that is loud. <laughs> like obnoxiously loud man this thing in the light with all the carbon on there absolutely insane man <laughs> the little kid's like what is that so what are your thoughts Tanner? bro it sounds beautiful the downsell pops yeah 
Yeah. Let's go, man. Out here, both of them glistening in that sunlight, man. You still catch the smoke, though. <laughs> you still catch the you smoke, sure? Man. Let me get a tune, and then, then we'll oh, go up you again. You have to have a tune. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, something. Strap a supercharger. He's also like a hundred pounds lighter than me, so <laughs> there's no way, unless I'm like a crazy, I'm like on a crazy booster, I'm gonna beat him. But look at this thing in the light. That is, sheesh. I ended up going with. The full Akrapovic, Akrapovic, however you want to say it, headers, so titanium headers, and I want the SC Project slip on. Huge shout out to Motivation for sending this out. I got a discount code for you guys. I'll pop it up on the screen if you guys are interested in anything that they have on their website. I got the headers from Daisuke Racing. Also, I'll pop that discount code up on the screen. They sell bike parts, they sell gear, helmets, anything you need. They've got you covered as well. So shout out to those two companies for kind of sponsoring this build here. I'm definitely very, very, very extremely happy, especially once this starts bluing. I mean, you can already see the bluing inside. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> on the headers. So I did almost go with the arrow low mount. And the reason why I didn't is I saw this in carbon. I was like this with all the carbon on the bike. I got to kind of keep that carbon theme going. And then I'm gonna put a carbon swing up cover on. So it just all just kind of like flows very well, even into the carbon wheels there. Stay with me. I got a vision, I got a vision, man. Cause usually, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the exhaust that come up on the side of the bike. I really want the low mount arrow just kind of exited here. But like I said, I got something in mind. Y'all gotta trust my vision. I've never led you guys astray. So woo! we're gonna grab something to eat real quick over here at Dave's. Y'all boys already know I have to double up here. Tanner got the little, little baby meal here. We got the shake. <laughs> yes sir, yes sir, let's go. ZX14, Busa, and a stretch Jixer. There's a roll race seat out here? <laughs> like what? That's crazy to see. Here y'all boys go. Make life a ride, baby. Mona. That's what the M is for. <laughs> Good thing he ain't coming for us. We need to heat those pipes up a little bit more so we get some nice even blowing throughout the pipe. The reason why it did end up going with the Acura is the arrow headers are lighter, but they're also thinner. But according to Troy from Brent Tuning, they do a lot of testing, especially with the Beamers. He said these headers make more power than the arrow headers. So that kind of persuaded my decision a little bit here. So Troy, this is your fault right here. <laughs> the arrows are a little bit cheaper, but there's also a wait. I guess like a three to five week wait. And Antonio was able to get me these pipes immediately. And I was like, I can't wait more weeks and keep riding this bike with it so quiet. We're gonna go get some flybys for you guys because I know the GoPro is not picking up the true sound and volume of this bike. Holy hell, what the heck just happened? Oh, they're fighting. Oh no, I thought they were fighting. Oh sh they're doing CPR on that dude. Damn. I hope he's all right, man. I hate seeing that kind of stuff. I've had to do CPR on someone before. That will put life into perspective real quick when you're trying to bring someone back to life, man. Control settings on here. Oh man, <laughs> this guy. Because sometimes it lets me do it, and sometimes it doesn't. I, I can feel the power cutting out.
Stop it. Y'all comment down below. Let me know y'all's thoughts about the exhaust. If y'all like it, if y'all don't like it. Y'all think I should have went with the Aero. I'm happy with the SC. Like I said, I wanted something that sounds good and it's very audible. <laughs> that just fits my style perfectly, man. And something that kind of flowed with the bike. Because sometimes I feel like those big cans just don't really flow with the rest of the bike. And I'm very picky about how my bikes look. <laughs> but Tanner's out of here. See you, bro. Appreciate you coming to help me film this. All right guys, if y'all enjoyed that video, make sure that like button, hit that subscribe button, Join the fast lane gang bang. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go enjoy this sunset ride. <laughs> Mona, your boy, we all catch you on the next one. I forgot to say, work hard, be consistent. You can do anything you want in this world. Peace. about 6,000 RPMs, it's at 120.